<laughs> All right, welcome back to KM6 LYW Radio. Hey, let's talk about the Nano VNA Network Analyzer. What the hell is it? Why do you need it? Let's set it up. Let's do that this time on KM6 LYW Radio. Yeah. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Yeah, I'm getting away with the bumper music. It's cheap and, and effective there. All right, um, so the Nano VNA Network Analyzer. So I know a lot of you already have like SWR meters. That's a standing wave ratio meter. It really tells you if your antenna is resonant on certain frequencies. That's important because you don't want to transmit into a non-resonant antenna. If you've got an HF antenna, it's probably resonant in lots of different bands. And that's fact, that's what we're looking at right here. And you want to see it all like in one graph. Now there's other SWR meters that are out there that have knobs and are kind of hard to use. I'll show you one frequency and one reading and they're really expensive. They're hundreds of dollars. This Nano VNA network analyzer, which is used for a lot more than an amateur radio, it's only like 60 bucks at some of the usual outlets. So do pick this up. Uh, what's tricky about this is that you have to calibrate it. It can be a little complicated to configure. So let's uh, go through that process really quickly and just get a graphing SWR meter as fast as possible uh, on the Nano VNA network analyzer. All right, when you first turn on the Nano VNA, this is the screen you're going to see. Do not freak out. It's a bunch of mumbo jumbo. What we want to do here is make this an amateur radio device where it's going to show us st graphing SWR curves for certain frequency ranges. When it comes to calibration, you are going to have to calibrate this. Initially, I was thinking, ah, I don't need to calibrate it. Um, you do. Um, the readings were wrong. So that's the very first thing we want to do is calibrate it. So we click on the screen somewhere and click on calibrate. This is the one to remember. Click on calibrate again up here. And you see open, short, and load. Okay, for this, there's these three little nubs here. You might be wondering what these are. This is the open nub. This is the short nub, and this is the load. This actually is 50 ohms. So attach the open one here, and then click on open. Attach the one that has the pin on it, and click on, sh on short. And then attach this aluminum one, which is the load. These two are brass, that one's aluminum. And click on load, and you're calibrated. Then say done, and, and, and it'll, it'll prompt to save that. Um, so let's go back, back. So now this unit's calibrated. Um, what we need to do is clean up this screen here. So click on display and you're going to see trace. And I want you to click on this one twice to get rid of purple. This one twice to get rid of green. Again, get rid of that one. So trace zero is this one. Make sure you select this one last. It has a checkbox next to it because the subsequent uh, operations are going to apply to that. All right, but it's just still not an SWR meter. Let's keep going back. Um, I don't know what this is, something delay. Um, so let's make this SWR curve. Um, let's click on this on the screen, click on uh, display, click on format for S11 reflected, whatever that means, we don't care, click on it. And now go down here into SWR, all right? Click on that and suddenly we see an SWR curve. All right, we are getting a lot closer to something we can use for amateur radio. The last thing you want to do is stimulus. This is going to set our frequency range that we're interested in um, for the SWR curve. I click on stimulus and set the start frequency to be, I don't know, I got an HF antenna hooked up. So five megs here. And then I want the stop frequency to be, I don't know, uh, uh, 28 megahertz. And then suddenly we see something that looks a lot like an HF antenna. In fact, uh, these I have resonant on three different bands. I've got 40, 30, and 20 here. And then I've got some uh, some bonus bands here based on some odd, odd harmonics. There's a jog wheel up here that allows us to move this little cursor around. Um, let's see, move, come on cursor. See this little yellow thing right here? I'm moving that around. I bring it down to the bottom of my 40 meter curve and we can see the SWR at that point is 1.243 on a frequency of 1.070 it looks like and I'm not quite centered on that you might want to zoom in on each band you know to get a better idea um, I can bring it up here to uh, 20 megahertz this is I'm sorry 20 meter band at 14 megahertz and the Cursor is here, and I can see I have an SWR of about 1.69 at a frequency of 14.2. I don't have my glasses on, 14.200. All right, so we did it. We have a working SWR meter. Uh, the last thing you want to do is save this. It doesn't automatically save. Uh, so let's go back and let's go to calibrate. We always go to calibrate when in doubt, and then uh, click on save. And we're going to save it into the, this last slot here right there and we're done and if we want to recall it we can do that later um, I'll go back 
Uh, we can go to recall. You know, I'm going to, I got one from, I don't know, 100 meters to 490, you know, for like a dual bander antenna. Um, I can recall those at will. I can recall the one we just saved. There, we're good to go it back. Um, when you turn it off and on, it's going to load the first recall spot. Okay. And so click here and then recall. And then the last one is where we save that HF band. And we're right back where we were. So this is where we want to be in the field. So that's it. That is taking all of the sting out of the nano VNA and simply created it, turned it into a graphing SWR meter. That's really all you need to know uh, for that. All right, so that is the short attention span version on how to get this thing working as a graphing SWR meter. To say this thing is complicated would be an understatement. This is the actual menu structure here. It does a lot more than that. I am not an expert on this thing. I didn't read the instructions like everyone else, and I just started poking around. And honestly, you know, after 15 minutes or so, I started getting uh, what I just showed you there totally working for my needs. So I really like this. Uh, two thumbs up for the Nano VNA. It's really kind of revolutionize the SWR meter market, in my opinion. All right, guys, if you want to support the channel, patreon.com slash km6lyw. There are gazillions of you, and I, I don't know how to thank all of you right now. If, if, if you contribute to the channel, if you contribute anything, you get access to the DigiPi SD card image. Um, <clears throat> that is a Raspberry Pi SD card image that you plug into any Raspberry Pi. You hook it up to your radio. And it gives you every data mode you can think of, everything, JSA call, FT8, APRS, packet radio, BBS, and it's all accessible via your tablet or Wi-Fi device. So you don't need to be a Linux engineer to use DigiPi. So you can have every data mode available to you on your phone or, or tablet. So DigiPi, and that goes to patrons of the channel. And guys, I really appreciate it. We've got Foo, Steve, Mark, Ryan, BS, Jake, Christopher, Ian, Jim, Bradley, Tony, Michael, Malcolm, Buddy. I think you guys have been with me the longest. That's kind of how this is sorted. So if you're if you're ever wondering, uh, Andrew, thank you, buddy. Uh, Claude, Jacob, uh, Rico, Ken, Bud. This list is just embarrassingly long now. M. Butts, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Sean Pyan, thank you. Tom, Mike, Andrew, Jeremy, Clayton, uh, DO6DOC. Is that a Dutch call sign? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, John, uh, Johnny, Jacob, Matthew. Yeah, we're going global with this. So we've all <laughs> got all kinds of cool call signs here. Uh, Non-US call signs. I love it, guys. Thank you. Jason, Albert, uh, Sven, uh, Wilkes. Thank you. Harris, John. God, lots of Johns. Jonathan. That counts as a John. And we've got Nick, Andrew, Dusty, K3, JRZ. Thank you. All the way down to Mark Thompson. All right. This has been another KM6 LYW radio production. Let me know how you're using the Nano VNA in the comments. I'm I'm interested. I just got this thing. I'm still learning myself. All right. My name is Craig. This is uh, KM6LYW Radio, and I am clear. <laughs>